Hey everyone, it's Dave. This is uh, my RUF GT3 Porsche Cup race at Mount Panorama in Bathurst. And I think I've got the settings set. Let me just check. Okay, most exciting. I'm gonna highlight Mike Smith a lot. I'm the orange car, orange and white, and for a lot of the race I'm driving by myself <clears throat> with no one in front or behind me, so I'm hoping that this is going to be interesting and every once in a while I might take it to a cockpit um, of my driving, but we might see others. So I'll just flick it around and see how we go. All right, enjoy. Oh, by the way, I do a 209 in in race average and then my best was 208 and uh, I catch the leader and then have a lose and then catch the leader and the race finishes so anyway let's see what happens This is treacherous at the best of times, but on cold tyres on the first lap, it's going to do you in if you try to expect to get your best race lap time, your best speed. And if you don't take the corners carefully on the first lap before your tyres warm up, you're just going to have a big lose. Unless something, something goes hideously wrong, you really shouldn't try to overtake anyone or do anything on the first lap. You're just going to put yourself into strife. Looks like you're travelling with me, 253 on the sign. So he went in too hot, allowed me to take his place. It shows me fifth on my screen, but that's not where I am. Let's see what I've progressed to already. Yep, alright, well it's right, fifth. That's the leader there. First place, second place. We're following Craig Casper in the white Porsche. Mission three. Ties are coming up to temperature right now. Ooh. Steering's all over the place and he can't keep get up to speed or keep it. The, oh, there he goes. You should just push and hold the reset button and get back to pit. Don't try and limp it home across the top of the hill.
Oh jeez, I wonder what happened to him. It looks like he must, might have hit a Mr. Gear. Reese is having a good uh, stint. He's just made up a few places, currently in seventh. Back to Craig, there goes me, I'm... Oh! Oh look, he's had a shunt into a wall. It was position three. He's gonna pull into pit lane. There he goes. Hope he has his limiter on or he can get black flagged. 56 kilometers an hour through pit lane. Okay, Brad. Brad's having a good race. Position three. I've made it up to position two. It's four cars there and pit lane all destroyed. Hopefully. Craig's out already. That's pretty good. In this series, you get uh, in club. Oh no! He's always out again. Can he make it back? Mark Stafford. Nice line through there. Mike Smith, the leader. He leads for the entire race. Little tussle coming here for fourth and fifth. Uh, see, that's gentleman racing. Oh, bad line. Could have run a little wider. Otherwise a good line through there, Craig. Well done. Mike Smith in here again. He keeps the pace on the whole time. His last lap was uh, 209. Mine was 210. Just a little bit off the pace there. That's a tough corner to get right. Keep your speed just around about 100 kilometers an hour around there. Ripped off to the left. Wait for it, then turn in. Try and keep this one long corner all the way across the top, round there to the second Ethiads. All the way to the end of the white. Second Dick Smith turn in. Actually light, the car's really light until it gets under, uh, comes back down the ground again. This is scary. It's always hard to get a good line through there. That's perfect. Well done. Nice and tight. Now you should hug the left hand wall right on the white line if you can do it. Out to the sign. Tons of air between <laughs> Craig and myself. From what I remember it was about 28 seconds. That I had to make up. Coming up on a back marker, number three. Oh, he went wide. That's going to give him grief. Any damage to the car slows your lap downs down. Look, 212. Mark Stafford, 212. Last lap, see if you can do better on this one. He breaks a bit early there, already before the red advertising. Doesn't hide the curves. Let's say curves, curbs. Alright, let's see what his lap time is this time. Two 
2.13. Ooh, that's slow. So he'd be falling back away from me now. Everyone's so spread out. Back to Mike. No one anywhere near him. His last lap was 2.10. feels like when you go through when you go through there it feels like you're gonna collide with the wall and you just gotta hang on and the tires end up pulling it up right before it he might have gotten off track then a bit too far off into the green his uh, apex is a little early there he could wait a little longer oh very wide there he's gonna lose a second at the top there and a second down the end of the straight, that's two seconds off just for that bad apex. As long as he's pulling two tens and I'm doing two nines, I should be able to catch him up after about ten laps. errors he makes and the fewer I make the quicker I catch him see a couple of cars how many cars are there in the pits just two of them one smoking hideously usually a really fast uh, head-on into a wall or a downshift too many downshifts to blow you You can't even see me in the background there at all. I'm there I go. Oh, there I am. Okay, so that's about 20 or 15 to 20 seconds behind him. And he's still pulling two tens. Nice line. Let's go in car. down a little early there, a bit sooner than I do, but he has a nice apex through there, that's nice. Okay, I'm going to flick back to me, Oop. there we go, my apex is terrible, well late. My last lap is 210.
turn in earlier. It's a little better, but not good. up on the chase. There's some smoke, some rigid residue. I wonder who's come off. It's just done another 2.12. Let's see. Oh, it was Pedro. Nope, Brad Sloan. Brad Sloan will limp to home. Michael Schuller. Just out of the pits. Position 8. Ooh, I he's getting bad enough times. Paul Barber, position 6. Tough track, 209. He should be uh, formidable. He's obviously one of the top runners who had, had an issue early on in the first two laps. It's just when we go over this rise, right here, this rise here, this, that whoa, whoa, that's the thing that does people in, if you look careful, that'll spin you around, let's see, I should be catching him now. I take my foot off sometimes, sometimes I apply it and drive it in a straight line.
anyone who drives Bathurst uh, has the same impression of the track. It's terribly complicated. There's so many... And I'll show you this. So there's 23 turns. And in each one of those turns, if you make a slight mistake, it affects the rest of the, the, rest of the track. Especially when you're going uphill. You've got to keep that on. Power on through there. But then your exit speed then affects a really long time. So like maybe 8 seconds of driving. You don't get it through here at just around about 100 kilometers an hour. They put the power on. Then your exit speed through this corner is going to be less. And now this is the longest stint in a single gear right across the top. It's not brave enough to, to keep it flat out. And each one of the drivers that I've heard speak about this track all say, you know, you can, out of the, all the turns, if you make a mistake on one, you just hope to do it better next time. And then you go around and you made a mistake in another corner. And the amount of perfect laps is actually very few. But you follow the rhythm. TV3, position 7. In some parts of this course, it just feels like you're driving a concrete canal. And it's almost nowhere else you can go. It's only eight meters wide, the track. Good on your mic. See, 212. I kept catching him with my 209s. Can't see me coming round Forest Elbow yet. Who are we with? Craig Casper. His last lap was 2.15. Now Paul Barber, 2.08. He's really putting the, the heat on. That's a fast lap. He's put his I want to pass you lights on. He's got a bit of damage there to his car. Should let him, you should have let him go over the dipper there. That's not the dipper. Should have let him go over the end of Skyline there. Now he's just going to hold him up. He should get him in draft and be able to get him by the end. By the chase. Here he goes. Gone wide.
crazy car would be all, all over the place in the steering. Doesn't look it, but his wheels probably turned, you know, 15 degrees to the left. The drive, just to drive it in a straight line. He said he's limping home, but he's, he's missed the pits. Paul just pulled a 211. Mike Smith's doing two tens. Once again, another 210. And that's making me happy because I'm catching about a second a lap. That's me in the distance. So I'm catching him around about 10 seconds. Behind. 2.12s for Mark Stafford. Sorry, Stafford. Oh no, Mark Schuller's out. Nice line. Whoa, that's a new line to go through there. See what his lap time is this time. 2.13. Almost like he's letting me catch up. He be, could be doing some fuel conservation. Oh, that's right. That was the lap before I had a lose. Now I'm back to 28 seconds behind him. I got up to 10 seconds. Now before now and the end of the race, I make up another 10 seconds, which meant that I would have caught him if I hadn't had to lose. But out of the field, there is only th oh, how many cars left? This is how many entries? 13 entries. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cars are out. Shuler's in the pits. And James is in the pits as well. And then almost a lap down. Oh, sorry, in the lead lap. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's five. Five in the lead lap.
There we go. That's the end of the race. And Mark, <laughs> Mike pulled. <laughs> he did a really slow lap in the end, just hoping that I was going to catch up. And I got right close to him near the end. And thank you very much for everyone who who raced in that. What an awesome race. And, and thank you. That pulled me up to my Class C license. It's really appreciated. Uh, or for all those who didn't make it, uh, better luck next time. Let's be all. Let's try to be courteous and let's try not to win the race in the first lap. And I think that's what you learn uh, as you progress through the license rankings. Is uh, it's not a race to the finish line on the first lap. Anyway, communicate with each other and be good. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, subscribe. Take care.